It's January 9, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a solid state drive, SSD drive, to a Raspberry Pi and how to set it up as the boot drive instead of the little SD card that the uh, Raspberry Pi normally uses. Let's get going. Well, here is the uh, Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4B with four gigabytes of memory. And this is the solid state drive that I bought. It's a Kingston 240 gigabyte solid state drive. It's not the best quality SSD out there, but it was cheap. I think I paid about $25 for it. They've gone up slightly since I bought it. But that is what I intend to attach to the Raspberry Pi. Now this is a SATA 3 interface drive, so you need a way to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. And that's what this is. This is a SATA 3 to USB 3 interface cable. So this will plug into the drive and plug into one of the USB 3 slots on the Raspberry Pi. And finally, this is the micro SD card that came in the kit for my Raspberry Pi. That's a 32 gigabyte card. And that is what the operating system is on right now. So I'm gonna set up the Raspberry Pi to operate and we will uh, get started. Okay, this is going to be a five step process. The first step, which I've already completed, is to get the solid state drive and the SATA 3 to USB interface cable so that we can connect the drive to the Raspberry Pi. Now, I ordered mine on Amazon and there are links to the specific products I bought in the description for the video. Now the Kingston drive I bought is certainly not the highest quality solid state drive, but it had okay reviews. It's fast enough for this application because we're limited to uh, five gigabits per second transfer rate by the USB 3 port that we're gonna be plugging it into on the Raspberry Pi. So if the drive is much faster than that, it doesn't really matter because uh, the bottleneck is the USB transfer of data. So uh, I could have bought a much more expensive drive, or I could conceivably have simply bought a bigger micro SD card. The thing is, uh, a good quality micro SD card costs the same or maybe a little bit more than a similar sized uh, solid state drive and it will never be as fast as the solid state drive. So I decided to go with the solid state drive just because it's gonna be faster and I can buy more storage space with the solid state drive than I can uh, with a, for the same money for a micro SD card. Now I could have spent, you know, maybe twice what I did uh, on the solid state drive and bought a much faster, a higher quality drive. But, you know, for this application, I think the Kingston drive will be acceptable. And we'll find out the whole, uh, uh, when we find out how long it lasts. If it dies in two weeks, then obviously uh, I saved a little money for no reason. So let's get going and start the process on the actual Raspberry Pi computer. Okay, here we go. Got the Raspberry and it set the monitor to 1080p. And in a few seconds, it should finish booting. Okay, there we have our Raspberry Pi. All loaded up and ready to go. Okay, I've zoomed into the screen a little bit and just to show you, here is the SSD or solid state drive obviously not connected to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to put the cable onto it and get it ready to go. There we go, cable's attached and we can get ready to go with the actual procedure. 
Now this procedure is pretty simple and the first thing we want to do is update the Raspberry Pi so that it is got the most up-to-date version of the operating system. I'm running Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is open a terminal window. That can be done by clicking this little black square up here on the top or by clicking on Pi and Accessories and going down to Terminal. It's the same thing either way. Now let me zoom in on this so you can see what it actually is showing you. Here we go. So, what I have to do is upgrade the, upgrade the system. And that's fairly simple. And we're going to use Terminal to do that. So I'm going to type in a couple of commands. The first one is S-U-D-O, sudo, which stands for super user do. Then apt, A-P-T, and update. And now I will hit return. And it'll go through the process. And this usually doesn't take very long. Yeah, it's finished now. That was real time. And now I'm going to do the actual upgrade, which is sudo apt and upgrade. Upgrade, and I'm going to add a, slash, a dash Y switch so that the system will automatically answer yes to any prompts so I don't have to sit here and wait for it. And we will now click return and it'll get started. And I just up, I did this yesterday so it really didn't need much, it didn't take long. Uh, if I hadn't done this yesterday, this could have taken up to 15 or 20 minutes. And how long it would take would depend on how long it had been since you last did an upgrade. And uh, the speed of your internet connection. So that's the first step done. We have now upgraded to the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS. So at this point, we are more or less finished with terminal. Now that we've finished upgrading the operating system, we're ready to copy the operating system to the solid state drive. So I'm going to plug it in. And this is the drive just as you receive it. It'll be unpartitioned, which is the way you want it, and ready to go. So to copy it, we go up to the Raspberry up here on the upper left and we click Accessories, and then we go down to SD Card Copier. And I, let me zoom in on that. And we just select the device we want to copy from, which is going to be this uh, smaller device here, which is the SD card, and then we select where we want to go to, which is the hard drive, the SSD. And when we're ready to go, we click Start. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. It took a little under four minutes. And so that's the procedure, very simple. And that will copy everything that's on the SD card to the solid state drive. Now, at this point, there's one thing left to do. Once we've copied everything over onto the solid state drive, we're going to go here back to terminal and we are going to type in one more command, which is sudo, S U D O R A S P I dash config. And that will open up a configuration setup for the computer. And we're going to, once we get that, we're going to have to use the arrow keys to go down to advanced options. And we'll press enter when we get there. 
And then we're going to go down to boot order. And this is where we tell the system where to boot. So we'll go there and we will then select boot from S USB device if FD SD card fails or isn't there. And we would then put OK, which we have to use the right arrow key to get to. And we are at this point, uh, as soon as that finishes, we're done. So now USB device is our default boot device. So we can just hit OK and we can drop out of this because we're finished with that. So what have we done? We have updated the operating system. We've copied the operating system to our uh, solid state drive and we've set an internal switch in the Raspberry Pi so that it will boot from a solid state drive if the SD card is not present. So at this point, what we want to do is turn the system off and take the SD card out. So let's uh, go to logout and shut down. And as soon as it's done, we will take the SD card out and we will see if we can boot up from the SSD. Okay, I've taken the SD card out. We'll put it down here. It's not in the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to reach over here and power up the Raspberry Pi to see if it boots. And it's going to, oh, look at that. Came up right away. And it's definitely not booting from the SD card. It is booting from the SSD. And it'll just take a few seconds. And we will be back. There we are. Now, since we copied the existing operating system over, everything that was saved on the SD card is now on the SSD, and we no longer have any issues uh, with having to uh, set the time or uh, identify your Wi-Fi network or anything like that. That's already done when you set up your uh, Raspberry Pi initially. So, you know, we can go in and we can browse the internet if we want or do whatever we want. We're just running on the SSD. And let's see. We could look, for example, at uh, an exciting YouTube channel. Oh, whose channel is this? And uh, this video should will be right here. So, that is, uh, everything is ready to go. That's the procedure. I'm going to do one other thing here before I quit. And that is, I'm going to go back to the Raspberry. I'm going to go to Accessories. And I'm going to go down and uh, click Raspberry Pi Diagnostics. And that will let me run an SD card speed test. And now there's no SD card in there, so what it's going to do is test the speed of the solid state drive. And it will run the tests. And it's done, it passed. And we can take a look at the result. And I can see over here, let me zoom in so we can see this a little. You can see over here that the sequential write speed was 299,251 kilobytes per second. The random write speed was uh, 15,120 IO ops per second. And the random read speed was 11,787. Now I did this with the SD card uh, off the video and I ran it several times and the best uh, sequential write speed I got was 17,871. So you can see this is uh, about 14 times that, 299,000 versus 17,000. 
Uh, the best random write speed I got was uh, 731. And here we've got 15,120. That's more than 20 times faster. And the best uh, random read speed I got uh, was about 3,500. And here we're at 11,707, which is a little over three times as fast. So the uh, SSD is much, much faster than the uh, SD card here. And I can now use this SD card for something else, or I can just put it away in case I ever have an issue and I want to reboot the system with from, SS, from the SD card. So basically, that is all there is to it. It's very uh, straightforward, and I now have my system running off of a solid state drive rather than an SD card. And the system will be faster, and uh, I have a lot more memory. Instead of 32 gigabytes total storage, I now have 240 gigabytes total storage. So, that uh, sort of finalizes what I wanted to say. Oh, I should say one more thing. This is not beta software that we're running. This is the normal uh, update to the Raspberry Pi OS. So this is stable and should be no problem. You don't have to worry about running a beta uh, software, which is what you would have had to do even just a few months ago. This is a relatively new release. And as you saw, it's very simple to do. You do have to make a three terminal commands, but they're easy. And I hope that they uh, were clear. And the procedure is very simple. It should take you no more than half an hour, and that will only take that long if you have not updated your operating system for quite a long time. The only other thing you might want to consider is if you're still running an old version of Raspbian, you might want to uh, download the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS onto an SD card and uh, set your system up uh, from that so that you can then upgrade to the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS. I am not sure if uh, the upgrade will switch you over from Raspbian to Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, hope that was informative. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell.